So I'm here in Narvik. I've always had a fascination with World War II history. It was so close on the map to Abisko a couple days ago. This is my goal to push forward just to satisfy a childhood curiosity. I've had four hours sleep, so I'm going to have a little nap. And then we're going to go out and explore Narvik just for the fun of it because I might never come here again. So I'm rolling around in Narvik on a whatever night this is. I think it's a Wednesday night. They've got like um, a swap and mate here. Oh, there we go. Class. No, <laughs> the swap and mate is over. <laughs> Those are really popular here as well. Come from Finland. Seems like every second plate here is from Finland. There seems to be a lot of Finnish tourists here. They must be rich too, because Swedes just bitch all the time about how expensive Norway is. <sighs> I like when they do these things. It's so obvious in every town, but it never gets old. It's just good to know where you are. Now, Kirknes, uh, that actually borders Russia. And I looked at the way the river flows. It flows into Russia. Someday I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do a wee in it. So I'm going to taint the Mermaid's water supply. Folketus. So they have those in Sweden too. And uh, basically in the old days, that's where people used to go get laid. You know what I mean? Like your grandma and stuff. They go there to the dancers, get all liquored up. Oh, here we got a random phone booth as well. So there's no phone in there anymore. Just moved on to a defibrillator. So there's no there's no need for hookers phone numbers. And, and it doesn't smell like urine. Kong deals. I think that means king. Kids park their bikes there. No one steals it. Probably have to have a hobby around here because the winter is very different. I would procreate during the winter. Just when you thought you've seen it all. H&M. We'll go down to the bottom level. Yeah. Not much happening here at all. Maybe I get lucky. Ooh, there's another way out of here. Maybe I can do a toilet review somewhere. That'd be all right. Mm. Exciting. <laughs> My great tour in Narvik. There's the local troublemakers up for the night. Now you wouldn't believe it. I used to be a bit of a troublemaker when I was a kid too. I used to uh, used to break bottles, play with fire. I'm gonna go into Burger King, see if they sell milkshakes or an ice cream. I think that's all I need for now. Chili mayo, lover. See what a burger cost. I have a flame grilled Whopper for 192 kroner. Now I don't want a burger, but it's just good to know. So I got my Oreo shake, that's my entertainment. Those are the local troublemakers. They run the show here. Right. Shit hawks. If I'm gonna explore this place and at least make a YouTube video out of it, I'm gonna have to do some Googling tonight because it's pretty slim pickings just walking around here. I did see a Thai massage parlor up the other street. That's a nice red house. And they do green trim on them here, not like just white, like in Sweden. See, Th there is white trim. Remember what I said about red houses and yellow houses. So he's got money, but they have to share the garage. Life's all about compromises. <laughs> oh. Nobody steals nothing here. You can just leave your bicycles out like that. I mean, I wouldn't steal a little girl's bicycle, but I know there's people out there that would. But not in Narvik. I think that's a cute house. It really is. Wonder if it's like Sweden where they force you to pay a tax, a church tax. Let's check this out. Everyone's rocking the electric cars here. It's not sure if it's true or not. But I read somewhere in Norway that they're not going to um, 
sell diesel or petrol vehicles anymore from 2025 on. There you go. That's the Narvik church. Look at that baby. It's nice. I wonder if anyone actually goes to church in Norway. Now this guy, he's got the right idea. I can tell right now, you see this, he's building on there. He's got his planning permission. Big enough house as it is, but that's a man cave. It's not the basement. He's he's building like a separate, a semi-detached, a detached man cave. So like his wife can't bother him anymore. Hello. 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 Boy. That could have been the most exciting thing that happened to me in Narvik all night. See the height of that? I mean, obviously they're skiing down that in the winter. And then you got that other one over there. Are you a Norwegian forest cat? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> well, that pretty much sums up my time in Narvik. <laughs> I'm so bored. I'm gonna get another ice cream. For 37 years now, I've never been planning nothing. I just rock up. But Narvik said my number. I'm gonna have to do some Googling and get back to you tomorrow. Narvik, you pulled one out of the hat. Look at this. Classic. Just like Jim Rockford used to drive. Now most of you guys are too, too young to know about the Rockford Files, but that was James Garner. And I used to watch that with my grandfather every day. And James Garner used to do all his own stunts on that show. Like me. I'm glad I didn't book to stay for two nights. Uh, the train leaves at three, so we'll see what we can see. And there we have Joker. And they got Bingo as well. I wish I had to walk down this street. Well, there's only the one street. I wish I had to walk down here yesterday. Maybe we could have gone and played Bingo. You know, in Toronto, they've got Dirty Bingo. You can look into that yourself. Now we've got this statue here. Um, I'm looking around. Usually statues have like a plaque or something on them, but not this one. So I guess it's just two girls. They just put statues up for the sake of putting statues up because they have money here in Norway. Uh That means tax man. And there's a shipping port. I think they deal in iron ore mostly here and I think it all comes from Sweden and they ship it out here. And then you got this thing right here. Now, um, I had to Google it, or I didn't Google it, don't lie, Brandon. I just looked on YouTube, what is there to do in Narvik? And there wasn't many videos and they weren't very long, the ones that were. And this is the monument to uh, Norwegian freedom. Talk to them, som shampet. Thanks to those who fought. So that's probably for the freedom. What does it say over here? for free, uh, for peace and freedom. And here we have a ledge if I feel like jumping off. So that's good to know. Over in the distance there, they've got Nordcraft Arena and Extra, which is a supermarket. So Nordcraft Arena, that'd be where all the major, major sporting events go on here in Narvik. This is a bit more refreshing. This is what I'm used to. We have the possessions of a homeless person. Uh, that could possibly be your own or it could be beer, I'm not sure. And there's a pack of Rizlas. Wait a minute, are they actually Rizlas? Ugh. Smoking Reds. No, they're not Rizlas. The Narvik War Museum. Oh, this is a cute one. East Bjornungen, Ufa. Let's see. Isn't that cute? There's the baby in the cave. Oh, there's the baby's bum. Uh, there we go. U boat. That'd be fun to play with. I wasn't actually going to pay to go into the museum. Um, I might have learned something though, but it's all on YouTube. It's all there. 
So I looked into this one yesterday and uh, it's something about life through chaos. So they've got another one over here as well. Here, I'll show you. I know what this one is. So this is called Grumpy Old Woman. <laughs> Look how grumpy she is. She's like, don't touch me. So that's me and the grumpy old woman. And uh, we're just staring at the backside of that mother with a newborn. Let's go into the Joker. Hello, Joker. So I used to be a girl. I grew up in Newcastle across the river with Chatham. And there was a girl named the Joker. And uh, anyway, she had a big smile on her face. So if you were seen with her, they'd call you the, the Joker poker. You know, so you didn't want to get caught poking the Joker. For Ritz crackers for 29 kroner. So that's like three, four dollars. Oreos, there's a name you can trust. Jesus, I don't know if I want to even pay that. Maybe I'll just go with smelly arms. Just come out of the Joker. <laughs> I had to buy something, but I wasn't paying um, 86 crowns for deodorant. So I bought a raspberry drink impulsively for 26 crowns. And it's not very good. <laughs> oh. You can really watch the paint dry here in Narvik. A bit more life on the streets now. Spec savers. I wonder if people still fall for their scams. I remember when I went to Spec Savers years ago, they're out on the street in England. Uh, you get a free free eye test, free eye test. And guess what? Everybody needs glasses. <laughs> I got two pairs. <laughs> I don't think there's much else to see here, but you never know. It ain't over till it's over. I think we have another shopping mall here in Narvik. This is exciting. I better run. I've got a green light. Don't want to get run over here by traffic in Narvik. No, we're not going to buy anything in here. We're just going to look. We're going to look because it's Norway. You can look at Norway, but you don't buy anything. No, I won't chance it. All right, I'm going to go for it. Does anybody else, every time you go through one of these, think of Godfather 1? Boom, boom, boom. And they whack the five families. Ah, normal. Shampoo. Everything. Anything you want. You buy a, a 16 pack of Mach 3s for 358. I think that's cheap. Um, even in Norway. Anywhere, really. Because with razor blades, they're going to screw you. Orangutans, lemurs, got drunken goats. Let's go see what they have in Norway's biggest supermarket. We'll go do a bit of price comparison here in the supermarket. See what they pay in the north of Norway. Because they always go on about how expensive everything is here. 149 crowns. Four euro pomegranate. Three euros for an avocado. It is a big avocado though. I mean, as far as avocados go, I, I hate when they buy like the two pack and it's the small little things and half of one is brown. They screw you with the avocados. 72 crowns per kilo on the red pepper. <laughs> donuts. I like donuts. 35 crowns for your cornflakes. 50 for your Cheerios. They always screw you with the Cheerios. 47 crowns for Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. I'm not paying 89 crowns a joker because they're joking. But Stirling, new, new extreme protection. I mean, I smelled myself out on the trail, but I mean, Stirling. Like, is this, hold on, let's give it a sniff. I don't know, I don't know if it's worth 66 crowns. They must really like, like their knitting here. I'll show you. There's been at least eight shops in Narvik I've seen so far. They already have, they've got yarn, Viking yarn. It's a very soft yarn as well. Um, there must be a lot of nitties here. See, wool, wool, wool. You got alpaca over here as well. Ooh, that's even softer. Well, I treated myself to the tried and tested a bit of dove there. 
I swear to God, on the trail, some days I was, I was smelling myself, you know. It's, it's never good when you smell yourself. But you know one thing that was a bit weird? Um, and Radek, I seen Radek um, before I left Abisko. He said when he was coming out towards Abisko and there was more civilized people, that he could smell them coming. You know, like they smelled nice. Maybe we're animals. Well, we're all animals, but I mean like, people like me and Radek are real animals. I've seen Narvik's two shopping malls. I've seen them both now. Uh, the first one, the first one had a Burger King. This one had deodorant. Here we got the local Shell. I've only seen one fuel station here and it's running full. So it's not cheap to fuel up here either. It's not anywhere anymore, except Ukraine, but relatively cheap. That over there is Norway's second biggest or longest bridge. So they, they're all about the bridges and tunnels here, I think. Well, not too much more to say about Narvik, but I'm glad I didn't book two days here. One is enough. And now I'm gonna enjoy my lunch while I wait, because that's all I can do. Look at the size of that shit hole. Here comes another one. Jesus fucking! The shit hawks are quite brazen here. There goes an ore train, probably from Karun in Sweden, here to Narvik to the port. And I guess that's why the Germans came here back in the day. And that's why I was so interested in coming to Narvik. Um, it was close to the end goal in Abisko. So I was curious. And as you've just seen, I've seen all that Narvik has to offer so that you don't have to come here and do it yourself. Um, Narvik's nice, it's clean, it's small, and I would say the highlight of my trip to Narvik would be the Burger King milkshake.